So the music was done by Dick Cox? <laughs> nah. Crystal Bernard from Wings and Happy Days plays Courtney, one of the survivors of the first film. Courtney's older sister, who also survived that night, has gone crazy, and after recapping the first film's events with some slight revisionist history, Courtney is off to spend the weekend at a condo with members of her all-girl band. Wow, even shitty garage bands from the 80s were better than what's on the radio nowadays. Yeah, grr, get off my lawn, grr. Someday, we are going to be in movies and rock videos and everything. Because my song is going to be a hit. Hear, hear. Nope, you're basically going to do two more movies and then a ten episode stint on Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. I can totally relate. I've wanted to go home myself this whole entire day. I mean, my face is turning into one big pimple. It's really embarrassing. Sally, I don't see a thing. Oh, you may not see it, but it's there. There's one. It's just lurking just below the surface. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. I can deal with it. Courtney isn't entirely over the first massacre, though, and keeps having nightmares, although for some reason they're about some rock and roll dude, and not the dude who was, you know, actually trying to kill her. Never. And I don't mean it's not the same actor, I mean it's not even the same character. At least this slumber party has synchronized dancing. But even with Playboy Playmates in the cast, it takes over 25 minutes to get to nudity, and even then, it's not the nudity you want. Courtney's nightmares then become hallucinations. What the fuck? Okay, correction. Ridiculous hallucinations. Hey, are you on drugs or something? Oh, well, let me get this straight. You saw Sally's face explode in the bathroom. But you haven't seen her since, dead or alive. And you think that she's in the trash compactor, but you're afraid to look, right? Yes. It takes almost an hour of the film's 75 minute running time for anything to actually happen. And when it does, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Now it's time for the fun part. Basically, Courtney's nightmare pops into the real world, becomes Andrew Dice Clay, and starts killing her friends in between musical puns and lip sync performances. Or does he? I love the jam to the floor, let me twice by its roar. Well, I'm an inch off the ground, the speakers all around. This is the first film this year to actively make me angry. Look, the original was no masterpiece, but at least the simple story was, you know, a story. With a beginning, middle, and end. Things happened in it. Nothing happens in Slumber Party Massacre 2. The guitar drill prop is neat, but who in the living fuck is this guy? He's certainly not the killer from the first film. I guess it really isn't even worth questioning, because in the end, Courtney is just insane. Or is she? And fuck you, movie, for making me ask that question. Twice. God, I really hated this thing. Hated it as I'm angry it's included in the same DVD set with the first one, and so I'm forced to keep it. Hated it as in I want to destroy the portion of the DVD it's on so I never have to see a single frame of it again. And I will never watch another episode of Wings. Okay, so it's not a total loss. Get out the Ouija board, we're gonna speak to the dead. We'll hide 